Good day everyone, welcome to the much-awaited pilot episode of our talk show By Women, For Women, About Women This is me, Hannah Papasin And I, Kim Hamelo And I'm Yasmin Pascual Dormito For Fun Fatal Before we start with today's episode, I would like to thank the generosity of the owner of this beautiful flower shop Disclaimer lang ha, ang among new sponsor for the venue is a, an, old cha, um, an old college friend uh, classmate ko siya sa University of St. Lasal, Ms. Pao Lopez, and she owns Yay! Flower Power. Thank you, Flower Power. Yay! And actually, behind Ms. Pao, a very formidable woman, and I hope to have her as guest one day. Yeah, she's also a fan fatal. Yeah, she's also a fan fatal. <laughs> and behind her, her madam, magiging okay, salamat sa nagatamod sa monsubong, iyang staff. Thank you very much, Yay! Mom and Sir, for your generosity. Okay, our episode for today is about survival. Okay. okay. Kay ti hindi naman siguro lipod sa tanan nga with me two very beautiful women we have Kim Mahmelo here and then pwede ta matawag na environmental youth advocate youth advocate youth right? advocate okay mm-hmm. and with me is of course the <laughs> one and only <laughs> the Yasmin Pasma Gordormido wala na niya sa iban nga maklaim nga sorry ah, ma-offend na ng iban pro for me she is the best journalist in Negros Occidental, bar none. Oh, and oh, hindi ko ni siya yan. Gin, wala ko na ginambal just because she's one of my best friends. Ginambal ko gina siya yan. Kay truly, I've worked with her combined years of experience is 50 years now. I think because Hannah and I have been together in college, pero we went to separate schools. Yes. You SLS siya, you know Arco, but we graduated in the, the same, same year. year. Yeah, in the yeah. same year. Let's and go. we covered the same beat, practically. Oh, oh. Pero, again, um, si Yasmin has a lot more experience ako when it comes to, <laughs> you <laughs> know, <laughs> kaya nag-academe ko dahil yun. No? After my 10 years sa, as a journalist, nag-ano ko, nag-academe ko dahil yun. Mm-hmm. But she's, of course, siya academe naman siya subong. But, since our theme for today is about survival, all of us here, especially after the pandemic, can you still remember kung di ka mo Sang December 2019, when gin declare sa local, national news and international news ng may outbreak sang novel coronavirus sa Wuhan, China. Dumduman mo kung di ka. I was in the newsroom. You were in the newsroom. <laughs> Ikaw? I in the newsroom. Ako, I was gag undergo ko sa ginatawag na quarter life crisis. Quarter life? <laughs> quarter life? Quarter life? Ako bin ka pa gani? May quarter life? 24. 24. Mama nog 24. Nanag crisis ka sa 24. <laughs> May existential <laughs> crisis na siya. Ya Allah. Okay. Uh, I was in my father's restaurant. Sponsor to mga gali. Ting 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 ting. Okay. I was in my father's restaurant and we were watching CNN. And then, do ka wala man lang to, kay pila pa lang to nga cases at that time. Yeah. Uh-oh. And it hasn't crossed borders yet. Uh-oh. So pagkita ko, I really I can't remember. It was I think December 14, 2019 mm-hmm. and everybody right. was already preparing for, you know, the holiday rush because Correct. you know naman yeah. in the Philippines we celebrate Christmas in September pa lang. Pagka bear much may ano pala. Oh, yeah. so, lang. so everybody was rushing and then there was this um Sort of hindi, matos siya gani major nga balita pa at that hindi, time. Hindi, it was just one yeah. of those in the headlines. I yeah, remember, one of those in the headlines. Well, I was always in the newsroom. <laughs> we were in the newsroom, tapos nag-break siya, di ba, sa cable TV. Yeah. And we were like, hello, di ba? I mean, the kinablang, it, it felt surreal mm-hmm. na tuod na, di ba? Yeah. And yeah. then, you were like, well, so sige, gaano ka man nga, ay, hindi pa manadiguro kalabot sa Pilipinas or kabay pa, hindi, hindi ba kalabot sa aton? But 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 you know that arat na siya. Yes. And then you as a journalist, you you feel that it's part of your obligation to to tell people to remind them na may novel corona, di ba? Because people wala pa tayo man ng tao. Wala, no. Every nothing. day we made it a point that whenever we go to this the health beat, di ba? Province or sa city, we'd have updates of of the novel corona before, di ba? And cough pa to siya. Yeah. Before it became yeah. covid. But but it seemed like nobody was paying attention. True. Diba? Kaya ti, ah, ano lang naguro daw? Ano ba lang? I mean, it's it's not really that alarming or something. Uh, well, Which is a good it's... thing, again, mention mo na, because all of us were really caught by surprise. Yeah. yeah. Now, more than a year later, <laughs> the novel coronavirus that Yasmin mentioned, nga abi na doon sa wala lang, it shut down businesses. Right. Yeah. It killed millions all displaced over the world. Millions it of workers. Displaced millions of workers. And then of course there were already stories of um, people getting depressed. 
right? The yeah. People losing their jobs. People affecting their lives. Ginagupo. And there's a Ginagupo. major shift. Hmm. A really major shift kay, um, in everything. Especially yeah. economics, politics. People now didn't know where to go because mga ka. Ang government natin, for example, want to seek help from the U.S. Pero paano ka makaseek help sa U.S.? Kaya U.S. affected <laughs> man! U.S. hindi makabali. Okay, so, <laughs> speaking of that, the best thing nga aton nga na notice is people manage to survive. Yeah, yeah. I, I think okay. it's human it's human nature. It's it's instinct. And speaking of survival, may ara, kita sa nalain nga layers of struggle. And one here uh, beside me, this woman beside me, also struggled with another kind of um, another, another kind of crisis mm -hmm. the employment crisis yeah. can you tell your our audience about it ah oh, oh, oh. bonggang bonggang crisis <laughs> <laughs> it was, it like every while everybody was um ha, was 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 so down because of the pandemic mm -hmm. um we at ABS-CBN were like i think triple siguro ang yes. pagka down i mean we were just you know to the ground or even lower Diba? During that time, because 2016, 2017, it has been there, eh, hovering. Though it's like a bangungot. Yeah. Na My ever, threat na. Yeah. It, it, it was there. It was eminent. And everybody knew. We were all realistic about it. I mean, but, but well, because we loved what we were doing. And <coughs> we knew that we had this responsibility to keep going. Diba? I mean, if we stopped, or if de ba nagpapirdi kami sa emotional namon nga state ang psychological and stuff, we wouldn't have served in the front lines with the rest of the frontliners amid the pandemic. We were always there. I was always there, de ba? Yeah, from the course. from day one when the first enhanced community that. quarantine um, was implemented in Bacolod City, and even when during the caucus, even before de ba, it was declared, I was there. Yeah. I was there <laughs> during <laughs> the caucus. <laughs> And I did um, an FB Live. That was my very first report on FB. I did an FB Live while they were having a break. The, the capital. Right, at the capital, when the governor declared that the, they're going to implement the very first lockdown yes. in Negros Occidental. Then Bacolod followed suit up later. But it ECQ was real, the it, it was yeah. ECQ. It was the first ECQ. And it was the first ECQ, including us. I mean, I, I, in the first ECQ, it was the first ECQ, including us. Na learn ko naged nga mangin kalmado kung nagapanik ang tanan. Pero that time, although it, it was not obvious sa akin sa gua, no. Pero in my mind, I was thinking, how can I serve as a frontliner when my home is not settled? Yes. Tiba, wala ka binlan. Because I had my mother, who is a senior citizen. I had two kids who are minors. Hmm. Well, I have my husband, of course. But la ingit ako ng nanay na plaster niya ang iabalay, de ba? And then, inaabalang the the risk of me having to go out, sir. Tapos pasi may infect ko, dalon ko sa balay ko. And then ano pa? I we were counting the days, the months nga mas magusgahan ng ABS-CBN. Will the, de ba? Will the franchise be renewed? Will we have our jobs? May hearing pa. May hearing pa, de ba? And and ang moral sa tao. I mean, di mo madena yung moral sa empleyado. Apektado ka tama eh, de ba? You had the pandemic, then you had this employment crisis, de ba? If if you were in our shoes, would have you, de ba? Would have you managed to keep doing what, what we are doing? What you should, de ba? Yeah. What yeah. you should be doing when kabaloka? It's just a matter of time. The shutdown will take place. We all knew it was going to take place. Yeah. Galing, sure. Sino ba lang? Sino ba lang mga mga? Oh, ready na ko ang madula ang kubra. Hindi <laughs> yes. naman. It's, it's, it, it was difficult is an understatement, Han. Um, if you are to ask me, like for example, while nag edit ka mo, para sa TV Patrol, Negros at 5 p.m., crunch time, ah. Gulpi lang madakpan mo, editor mo, gata nga siya. Or gatulo, yalo ka. Yeah. Diba? Mm -hmm. I mean, and then, ano ba, ano ko maduit ko si AB? Hindi, diba? Kung basta, tama na na, karoon naman tama, AB, ilas 5, at tapos, nata kami TV Patrol pa. I mean, but that's the, that was the daily, Scenario, and then for lunch break because we were not allowed. Of course, the protocols. We didn't go. We didn't take any news from because we were not allowed. Or we were not allowed to be briefed, right? And then we would ask each other, "What are your plans?" We didn't have plans. How can we have plans? Because there's a pandemic, right? Yes. I mean, you're not stressed. 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 You're not stress
handa sa amuna mo, di ba? And then, of course, you wouldn't want um, to do something that will trigger an emotional breakdown on your part because basi maapektuhan ka man, di ba? Yeah. Hindi ka na maka-function. But, but, that's it eh. Well, I, you realize that when you're in a crisis, ang, ang pagkatao, ang instinct mo, di ba? Mambas mo, oh, paano kayo dahi? May bay ka dahi, di ba? Maano, di maano ta? Yeah? So, you go to, we had sleepless nights. Until now, hindi kaya katulog diretso, Han. We'd wake up to our, I mean, in the, 1 a.m., 2.30, 3 yeah. o'clock. Araw na siya, and then bugtaw ka na, kahit pagka 4 a.m. ka bugtaw, hindi man kayo normally, ilang tao mo naman balita. You go to work, you work. And when you're there, you forget about everything. You just work. Because kabila ka, the quality of your work matters. People, people are waiting, di ba? If you stop, ti amano ni sila. Pwede, blam ha, baka, excuse me. <laughs> Emotionally, anetch ko balas mo, di ba? <laughs> Pause, ay, ay. Di ba? Tama, nene. Tama, nene. Pero, that's it. Um, you just have to keep going, di ba? I mean, yeah. you have, sa, sa kaboy, sa tao, may problema ka, or hamungaya ka, do I, you always have options, eh, di ba? Kung may crisis ka, ano, do, you, do you get going? Papapirde ka? Or batuan mo? Di ba? True. So, so yeah. it, wasn't, it wasn't easy. Never easy. Until now, ang sakit ara sa sulod, di ba? Uh, pero, pero, ang managani, um, when life knocks you down real hard, that's when the character of the person, the real character of the person comes Importante, out. Importante, wala na ngayon. Ay, oo oh, <laughs> naman. Oo oh, oh, naman. Dignity of work, <laughs> diba? I mean, yeah, that's... Anyway, correct. let's go sa kay Kim. Kim, uh, you're very young. Yes. Pero nag-existing crisis. Nakibot ko 24? 24, 25? I mean, nag nag mid midlife pro. Hindi mo na midlife. Quarter life. Quarter life. Quarter life. Quarter life. Kaya mo nagali? Kaya harap na. Subong ka, ano na ako okay, yun. Okay, uh, sige. Can you, can you share? Ano yung experience? Um, usually, kung ihambal ko na sa people, they would be very shocked. It, it's not usual, di ba? Mm. Especially sa inyong generation, to hear about someone as young as 23, 24, 25, nga naga, quote-unquote, quarter-life crisis. Pero I had that. And sa nga mo tungad tayo, uh, 2019, I was on the verge on deciding kung ma-quit ko sang ako nga job, ako day oh. job, oh. and focus on my schooling. Mm -hmm. And then i manage ko pa kung ma-freelance ko because at that time, wala yas may nag encourage sa ako nga mag-quit and pursue freelancing or whatever. Kasi, di ba? It was a mm -hmm. very essential time nga dapat yung may job ko yun and ano. So, amo na, nag-decide ko yun that time to quit and pursue my schooling kag at the same time, earn my money through freelancing. So, ito siya ako niya crisis kaya that time. And of course, it affected me as well as a person. How did you cope? Eh, imagine, abla, may plans ka. Yes. Gusto ka mag-travel. Yes. Then you quit your job. Yes. And then this happened. Yes. <laughs> then November coronavirus happened. Yes. I mean, is there any other worse time for mm -hmm. the breakout? Ang sa, sa pagsagap sa outbreak na to, uh, you were uh, making, yeah. Kim Amelo is making all of these plans and then all of a sudden, wala. Oof. So, ano, ano, how did you manage? Siguro, ako, kumbaga, turning point was when gin-announce gin na nila ang lockdown. Mm -hmm. Because, confined ka sa IMO, four corners of the room, and then you just suddenly realize nga, you know, hindi ka ang center sa kalibutan. Yeah. Other people are going through so much more. So, syempre, wala ko man gina-devalue anong gina-feel ko. But at that time, you really have to move. Kahit yung crisis, kumbaga, I realized na it's either going to make you a better person or ti you're going to be stuck where you are. Right. And then, eventually, ti makrumble down. So, you have to really decide for yourself. Ang muna nga ako nga, kumbaga, realization sa kamuto nga time. Ang ako, the way I cope, siguro ti, I had to just push through, keep myself busy, and at the same time, ti sometimes mapa relax, relax ko dahi, mapa, I don't know, mapa manicure ko dahi, whatever. <laughs> yeah, para ka-cope. Oo, oh, para ka-cope, kumbaga. So, hmm. kumbaga siya ako niya, ano. Ang, sa ako niya party, ah, you remember nga at that time, ang DNX mm -hmm. was just starting. Oo, oh, oh, diba? Uh, sa pandemic. Ang, syempre, baby na siya sa ako niya, ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, si Julius. And, um, you know, doon nag-aamat-amat naman ka pa saka and we were actually gaining na ano eh. Dito, that was already the sixth or sixth month na siya kag na-break yung coronavirus. Oh, na, oh, na, yeah. na, na issue. 
Uh, the, the next was already celebrating its sixth Correct. month at oh, that oh, time oh, oh. because we launched August 2019. Mm -hmm. And then December 2019, ang, ang outbreak. So, sering naman, we never knew that it's going to be that bad. Mm. And then, of course, ang source of income, sa nga mong nga paper, wala nga sa source of income because ang source of income are also closing. Right. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, what are we going to do? Amo na siya because um, DNX has... Uh, currently eight shaka we're, we're a small outfit no so may eight kamika workers but you know not what you're not just talking this is what my ex-boyfriend is mm -hmm. always <laughs> saying um it's not just eight individuals mm -hmm. it's eight families correct because yeah. kada sa ila may ila sinis lang family nga ano there are mouths to feed no so we were but we we, uh, no, we forged on and you know what, what happened mm. naman sa the next oh, there were a lot oh, of bashings yeah. there were a lot of uh, criticisms about the way we handled certain stories but we forged on and you know uh, just like what siguro makarelate gito sa imo men mm -hmm. because ang um, natabo was um, we were the, we were the only ones that covered ah na si Radney yeah. awa ang ako nga crew sa buong si Sir Banjo and all and by the way, aton nga TV unit head subong so naghandol sang pampatal si Sir Banjo Nolan and then ang aton nga part-time photographer si Radney is also my student sa sa Lasal sa Mascom. They were the ones that went with Julius and covered areas mm. that other outfits were not able to cover. Right. So they were crossing borders, literally wow. cross, crossing borders. Uh ga cross sila sa Oriental, ga kadto sa, 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 sa mga areas that even local government was not able to reach. And so we felt that if we are just going to let the pandemic affect the way we function, just like what you said, there's people waiting. Okay, there's people waiting for us to serve them. So, maski ako, I'm immune compromised. Okay, si ex-boyfriend ko is also immune compromised. Patas. Is, yeah, patas. So, um, but sinin naman, kagaw, ano mo na naman? <laughs> Kagaw na ya. Next kami ya. Yeah. And we are quite aware, no? And I'm really very proud sa kay Radney in particular. Nga isog siya. Ah. Mas isog pa sa sa, sa, sa mga veterano. And uh, with the thought in mind nga if we are na, if we are just going to get our fear get to us. Oh. How will we function? Correct. Syempre, yeah. the fear is always there. Magwa ka, makadto ka sa mga Nagkakadto kami sa mga areas nga considered na lang mga hotspots. Mm -hmm. we, we already went, uh, especially ang crew, no? we, they already went there. And then, ako siyempre, nagagawa mo ko everyday and uh, get to mingle with all of these people. Nagka-cover ko yung city hall. Mm -hmm. And if you're just going to let the fear seize you, you will not be able to function. Correct. And at the back of your mind, you're always going to say, Oh, kabalo ka ako, yaga pulik ko, yaga daan, sa, sa amutong atan, yaga pulik ko sa parents ko, and parents ko are mm. also immunocompromised because they are already senior citizens. Pero sila ko, honestly, wala ako nakabat siya cool back. Ako? Honestly, I've never felt the fear. Not the fear, um, concern. Concern siguro for others, pero yeah, for hindi, me... For me, okay lang po. Wala. Ang concern mm -hmm. for me is, ang tao nga ma-expose akon, sa balay Correct. especially. Like, yeah. when I go, ako ya ang career, hindi mo wala naman ka dudududay. I mean, whenever an area yeah, in Bacolod was locked down, I was always there. Of I mean, course, yes. Nag-fumigate or nag-ano, ara, mga kuto. Doon na lang, tama, yeah. nag-i-disay mo ya daw ka. Okay, sagay mo ko, ano na ginapangin mo ko? But you know, well, if you are a journalist, how can you accurately report if you're not there? Yes, diba? I mean. It's the same as deceiving your viewers or your listeners or whoever reads your story. I mean, how can you give them exactly what they need to know if ara malang ko sa balay? Pwede mo ako monitor? Yeah, we can actually. Oh, pwede mo lang ko yung pahulat press release sa CHO, PHO. I think that is something that the audience also has to understand that, amo na, working journalists, we are also considered non-medical frontliners, di ba? Yeah, oh. Mainly because we are on the front lines. In fact, nadumduman ko, March 16, that was that time when... Mayor uh, Villanueva announced the first 
general community quarantine. Correct. Hindi pa ECQ. Yeah. GCQ pa lang GCQ. to. And then 15 days later, later. nag-ECQ along uh-huh. with uh, the province. So, but when it was announced nga G- uh, may GCQ, ara kami sa borders. Correct. We ara were manning the borders. Yeah. I was there. Um, north to we Tagum. We were first, una nag-south kami. Mm-mm. And then nag-north kami. Oh, so, medyo oh, mga traffic south. traffic yeah. pa, di ba? Oh, Nabuang yeah. ka to, di ba? Nag-alive then, kaya sa Dalas. Then, sa mga borders, like sa Murcia, for example. Correct. Okay. Uh, I was borders there. madigto sa going east ba yun? And did to okay. mo na-realize, Hans, ang pandemic, how powerful social media sure. is. Because like us, mainstream, taya mo, di ba? Kita, nagdako kita sa mainstream. Ako ya, even, to, I mean, to this day, even if I vlog, I'm, I still consider myself a mainstream I mean, di ba, na-consumers ang balita. Ay, hindi ko ano, namiang ko, kaya po niyo magbasa newspaper, lantawong ko siya sa TV. Pero dito nakita mo, people, I mean, strangers, as far as oriental, people stranded yeah. in Cebu, they would message us. As in, ang message request mo nga inbox, ya, as in, the muta mo, asking for help, asking kung sirado ang boundary, diri, diin ang borders. I mean, ha? Paan, mas nag, doon nagdamo-damo ang ubras ng journalist. Kaya hindi ka lang yung nagabalita. But you also attend to these people. You link them up with the LGUs, True. with the provincial government, and and all the other agencies na makabulig sila. ba diba? I mean, because people expect from from journalists so much. Yeah. I mean, I mean to the point na they think we can solve all their problems. And and feeling mo, bloody, you don't, you don't want to fail them. Yeah, I think, no, kaka-beautiful sa mga sharings ninyo, Tanan. And I think, um, one of the... One of the best uh, indicators, siguro, kung ano gidi ang risk ng ginato bang ta is you remember we had media colleagues nga yeah. naga positive. Oh, oh. And in fact, one of them <laughs> is you. <laughs> oh. Well, one of them is uh, our crew. Well, uh, uh, and we had to quarantine for. Sa positive man. positive man, no? Um, and we had to quarantine for 14 days. Yeah. Pati kami because we were exposed to that. Uh, crew member, of course, hindi na siya lipod. Uh, it's, uh, it's our video, video unit head. Pero, you know, these are risks. Eh. Yeah. Kagdason mo, baga nga, kung nakulbaan ka mo lang nga journalist ka pa. Eh, Siyempre, you, 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 <laughs> en- you enter the realm <laughs> with open eyes. Di ba? It's, it's part uh, of the package. Hindi ka ba pwede kung mag-journalist? Ay, excuse lang ko dahil, ma-leave ko, anay, kaya may COVID, uh, di ba? Kulbaan ba sa kada? Or, 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 or you get assigned to the mouth. Okay. Just hindi. Low resistance, mo. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't you don't say that. You go ko lang nang go because you know what you've signed up for. Thank you, kids. Ano? Mas kung yung 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 Final words, do <laughs> Do you have something to say to our audience before we end? Ah, uh, yeah, siguro because you know I'm here sitting with two journalists, and uh, because sa natabo we know uh, with the shutdown and everything, I think it's just high time that we really also appreciate the people nga nagarisk nila ng lives and actually their families as well. We need to thank them, and of course, uh, we need to appreciate the the lens ng ginagaya nila para mahatag lang nila sa aton ang mga balita. So, thank you! Oh. <laughs> thank you so much! Thank you! Miss Yas! Miss Yas, ha? Yes! Do, yeah, oh, b- b- by the way, before ko naihamba lang parting words ko, don't worry, hindi, may guests na kami sa next episode. <laughs> <laughs> They might think, wala si Miss Yas! But the truth Mama. is, pwede man, kami na may story, mga one hour, sobrago na doon. But we've lined up guests, okay? Don't worry, hindi ni kami ang may story lang. Anyway, an anong mga takeaways to sa pandemic? One, um, it's always the basics. We've all learned to go back to the basics. Gin relearn tana, de ba? Yes. Nagbalik kita. We've also relearned uh, the need to preserve and protect the environment, de ba? Na realize tayo nga wala galis sa makapaumpaw sa aton stress and all, but, but it's it's the environment. People went back to to nature, etc. What else? That in the midst of a crisis, we should not only focus on ourselves, but we should think of those also who need help. So, bisan, bisan, bisan ano kagamay nga buling mahatag mo, whether in goods man na siya, or, di ba? I mean, words of encouragement, kung kay sino na hinanglan, you know, that can save people, eh, di ba? Nga madalman sila sa depression, or that they can also be motivated to keep going when they see you, di ba? Nga stagling ka man, but you're telling them, no, it's okay, we will, we will, we can make it. Um, and then what else? That, that we, especially mga babae, di ba? 
da mo mga mga asawa na dula ang trabaho ng bana, de ba? It's 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 it, it also should have well this pandemic should make us realize that we women have to also be economically, de ba? Empowered. Correct. Because you'll never know. You'll never know. See, sino nagpinsar ang pandemic ang matabo? Sino nagpinsar ang travel industry matumba? Di ba? Maamusin ni kaapektado. Sino ang magpinsar ang kakadama sa kabata? Wala na nakapa-enroll. Kaya ang tatay nila nadula ang trabaho. So, so kita nga mga babae, kita nga mga asawa or, or, or who, the partners or, or kung ano na tawag mo, we should also be as financially independent and as madiscarte as 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 the men in our lives in fact in fact ah no me did you blank sinamin tanan tanan mas jasmine tanan na lang yun yun itrahan yun ni para nag 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 bake siya because she's already a good baker so why not nga negosyo ng mga skills therapy pa de ba o mas stress ka sa sa magrant ka da sa Facebook o hindi luto mo de ba pag nabaligy mo may kwarta ka o pag may kwarta ka may panindahan ka I mean it's ang mga krisis sa kabuy hindi una iya mahambal nga hindi ka na kamo mag ano ha asta lang mo 2019 ko tanak ko No, they will always be there. But the thing is, ikaw, how do you manage? How will you handle them, de ba? De ba best? Yes. Ah, thank you to these two really beautiful and empowered women. Ang ako niya take away lang before we end, no? Ah, kulang niya ang thirty minutes. Oh, kulang. But anyway, ah, yeah, that's true. Sometimes ang crisis ang mga determine kung ano gaya ang strength sa isa katao. Mm. Your strength will only be determined by how well you handle the crisis right. and uh, never make the crisis an, as an excuse to be... Sorry, can I say the word? An asshole. True! <laughs> um, True. Because it's always, um, it's always going to be you that's going to take accountability for what's going to happen to your life. Correct. Nobody's going to take accountability for the shitty things that's going on. Yeah. Like, like, I said the S word is not allowed. Okay, anyway. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> ako pa lang sir. Okay. Um, But you know, uh, at the end of the day, it's always going to be about you. You're not going to be relying. Uh, right. You're not going to be relying on other people. You're not going to be just forever relying on other people's good will. But sometimes you also have to follow your own strength, and that is why we have Vampital because we are celebrating women and their strength. Yeah. Thank you. This is me, Hannah Papasin. Kim Hamelo. And this is Pascual Dermido. And you have just watched the first episode, the pilot episode of our talk show for women. By women, about women, fun, fatal. fatal.